Let's show you how you can set up multiple choice questions or quick replies within Microsoft Copilot Studio for your Copilot agent right now. If you're trying to figure out how to set up multiple choice questions that show the options that you want someone to respond with within the chat or set up what are called quick replies, then you are in the right place. And I've actually seen several different little changes to this recently within Microsoft Copilot Studio. And I'm actually gonna be showing you two different ways to achieve this, one being using multiple choice question nodes and the other being utilizing quick replies, which you can utilize on all sorts of entity types, not just multiple choice option questions. So more on that in just a second. But here I am within my coffee copilot within Microsoft Copilot Studio. And I've gone ahead and already created a topic. There is nothing in there just besides the trigger. But if I go ahead and click on, I just noticed my camera is behind. I'm sorry about that. If I go ahead and click on the coffee review topic, then what I'm wanting to capture as a part of this video is kind of a couple of survey questions on if people like their coffee and if they liked the service they provided. And I'm gonna show you those two different ways to capture multiple choice options with those two different questions. So the first one is just a simple multiple choice question node. Here I am within a topic. If I select this add node, then there's gonna be a ask a question button. And the, at this point in time, at least the default entity is going to be multiple choice options. And so in this scenario, the first question we want to ask is, you know, how was the coffee? And let's just say that in our scenario, the, the three options are going to be poor, average, and excellent. Those kind of are the three options for if they liked the copy, if they, excuse me, if they enjoyed the coffee or not. And so now that I have those options in here, you will notice that as you add them, it will create these condition statements, assuming you want different things to happen. Now, real quick, if, if that doesn't make sense, say I selected poor and we wanted a certain message to then display, then you would want to add that message underneath this condition. Um, and same goes for average, same goes for excellent. So it automatically gives you the ability to branch based off of this question's input or what's stored in the variable one. In our scenario, we do not care how they answer. It's mostly just we want to know how people are answering as a business, right? I don't necessarily, let's say I don't necessarily want to change um, the topic conversation, how they answer. Now, this here is going to be kind of that simple multiple choice question. And this is going to show, you know, um, the options kind of down here in the screen. Let me go ahead and save and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I save and refresh the testing pane over here, Let's say that you know this is a prompt that will trigger the topic. And you can see here, if I click on this, it'll, it'll take us back to the topic. It's saying, how was the coffee, right? And that is coming from this question node and it is throwing, showing our three options here. Now, I can type out exactly what I would like if I don't necessarily wanna click one, but in my opinion, having these is a pretty big win because I can just simply click what I wanted. This is also an important call out that you can now add synonyms to these options. So say you have, you know, poor and a synonym of poor is bad and a synonym of that is don't like it and a synonym of that was horrible. You know, exactly. You get what I'm saying. All the different synonyms. One note is you do not have to account for like typos or anything like that. Uh, the generative AI in the large language model will be able to understand those without adding those as synonyms. So you don't need to worry about that, but nonetheless, you can add synonyms to these options, but also I could just click one as I seem fit. And, oh, it's, it's wanting to leave this page. It's because it's taking me to uh, this kind of escalation generative AI topic, but nonetheless, I can click one, you know, yada, yada. Let's go ahead and move on to kind of the next question, this quick replies topic. And I think 
This one is actually much cooler because you can now utilize variables that maybe are text variables or, or variables that are outside of choice variables. So if I go ahead and select add node and select ask a question once again. Let's say that instead of the multiple choice options, we want to store the user's entire response. And I'm just going to go ahead and say up here, this is the coffee service um, variable. Okay. And here in our message, we want to ask how is or how was the service? Okay. So at this point, it's not going to show any kind of those options, those bubbles for them to select. It's just going to say, Hey, how was the service? And however that person responds, you know, then it's going to store that entire response. But what if you were in a scenario where you also wanted to have those kind of quick replies? Well, if you click on the question note here, you, you will see add. And if you click add, you'll find, Oh, looks like it disappeared. You will find quick reply. I click on quick reply, it will add this extra quick replies box. And it says to type a reply and hit enter. Let's go ahead and say that we want to do the exact same options Poor, average, maybe I need to re click in here once again. Yep. Average, enter, and excellent. Enter. Awesome, you will see that that's going to add kind of these quick replies to the side here, these three different options. Now, there's even an extra little nuance that I think is just is actually really, really cool. In that you could have the text that displays in the option be different than what message is actually sent and stored in the variable. So specifically, you can do several different things with quick replies. I think the most basic and the most common will be send a message. So when somebody clicks that button, we want to send a message. That's what it's saying. There are other options that when someone clicks that button to open a URL, I think that's really, really interesting. Um, especially if you maybe want to take people directly to an FAQ page at a certain point or different things like that, then you can just do that with a quick reply. You can have make a call or send a hidden message. Now, Let's say that instead of the, t the, we want the title to be poor and I'll explain kind of the difference between these here in a second. And this is going to say the service was poor. Now what this means is the, the title, the text is going to be the text that is actually then sent back to the bot. And when you click the button, if you remember it had shown poor when I clicked the button previously with the regular multiple choice. Now, instead of just showing poor, it will say the service was poor period. Again, just another little nuance that you should be aware of as you are developing your co-pilots and, and are kind of tinkering and knowing what is aware, what is, excuse me, what is happening, being aware of, of what's available. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say. There's that one. And we'll go ahead and do the uh, the last one here. Just notice you don't necessarily need a title. If you don't fill in a title, then it will make whatever is in the text the title, if that makes sense. Let me go ahead and save this. While the topic is saving here, I just want to say if you are finding this insightful and feel like that I could help you answer any questions that you have, be sure to follow the first link in the description down below. That's going to get you in direct contact via email with me. I would love to just help you learn, but also learn something in us building co-pilots together. So if you would like any sort of coaching or any sort of questions answered, be sure to reach out to me there. So. Okay, our topic is saved. Let's go ahead and refresh this and I'm going to send that same kind of triggering message as I did previously. Perfect. Here is kind of that first question, the multiple choice question, right? How was the coffee? Let's say that the coffee was excellent. Now it brings me to the next question. How was the service? Now again, this is not using multiple choice, but because we have set up quick replies, I can now select average and you'll see that the response it says is 
this service was average. I just want you to know that these tools are out there and available. Now, if you have built your Copilot and now wanna get it deployed to Microsoft Teams so that you can start sharing it with colleagues and teammates, you are gonna to wanna to check out this video here as it is a step-by-step -step guide on everything that you need. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of the Citizen Developer channel. If you find this stuff exciting or um, something that you wanna learn more about, come and hang out with me in the Power Talks podcast on this channel every Wednesday. I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.